In what was easily the biggest, most exciting panel during this year's San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel Entertainment straight up blew everyone's minds with some of the most hype announcements of all time. The first thing we've got to talk about is the end of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Coming far sooner than pretty much any of us expected, this era of the MCU is going to be coming to a close officially with the release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever on November 11th, 2022. We actually got an awesome look poster and a trailer for the movie, which showed a nation in turmoil following the passing of its king, along with a threat from the deep in the form of Tenoch Huerta's Namor, a classic Marvel character that fans have been waiting years to finally see make his way to the big screen, who is certain to more than likely play a big role in the MCU moving forward if I had to guess. Phase 5 got a ton of love during the panel, with this timeline shown, outlining everything we are to expect during the next era. It'll start off with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which will bring Kang the Conqueror into the universe proper, after a variant of the character played by Jonathan Majors debuted during the first season of Loki. We got a bit of a look at Kang via this artwork that was released, which also presumably gave us our first look at Cassie Lang in her own Pimtech suit. After that, there is slated to be a deluge of awesome releases making up Phase 5. Of note here is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which had some footage from it shown during the panel that hasn't been released yet to the public. There's The Marvels, which will see Captain Marvel teaming up with Monica Rambeau, who we last saw at the end of WandaVision, and Miss Marvel, who just recently wrapped up her own solo series on the streaming platform. Blade, which is set to begin shooting this October, which will bring the famous vampire hunting Daywalker back to the big screen, as portrayed by Mahershala Ali. And Captain America New World Order, which will feature Sam Wilson taking center stage after the events of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, as he continues continues trying to live up to the massive legacy left behind for him by Steve Rogers. Phase 5 will officially come to a close with Thunderbolts, which, if it's anything like the comic team of the same name, should see a team up of some of the most recognizable anti-heroes and villains still kicking around in the MCU. If I had to guess, this is probably what Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine has been recruiting people for. That finished off Phase 5, but Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige was far from done, as he pushed on into Phase 6. This is where that Fantastic Four movie that we heard about back in 2019 is going to be situated, opening up that era proper. But ending the phase, there are going to be two Avengers movies, titled The Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, respectively. Expect these movies to be absolutely massive, as not only are they following up one of the biggest films of all time, Avengers Endgame, but they are also going to be bringing to a close the newly titled Multiverse Saga. Be sure to check out these movies and all other future entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as they are released at your local Regal. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next year at San Diego Comic Con.